Hi, my name is Kevin Webb with Mentor Graphics, where I work as a technical marketing engineer for the Valor NPI products. And I'm going to do a short video on how easy it is to use the new Direct Connect enabled option for Valor NPI, Valor Parts Library, also known as VPL. Working with Mentor Graphics, Valor Parts Library just got much easier with the new VPL Direct Connect enabled configuration. With the purchase of Mentor Graphics VPL subscription and the installation of Valor NPI version 9.7 or later, you're all set. As you can see, based on this diagram, that the standard VPL service configuration requires VLM, known as Valor Library Manager, along with a database to be installed at the customer site. But when you utilize VPL Direct Connect configuration, no local VLM server or database installation is needed. Simply set a couple variables and you have a direct connect to the Mentor Graphics Valor Parts Library server. Of course, the option to install the VPL server configuration locally is still available, but for those companies that don't have the need to create their own parts but want easy access to the millions of parts within the Mentor Graphics VPL server, direct connect is a great solution. Some of the advantages of direct connect lower pricing for the direct connect saves you upfront costs hence lower cost of overall ownership, no database or server to maintain, so no IT support and easy configuration, quick implementation to access the existing VPL content from Mentor's VPL library. Some of the main differences, parts are limited to those found on the Mentor's VPL server, but keep in mind you have access to over 35 million parts from the Mentor VPL servers. But for those companies that can benefit from this type of configuration, VPL Direct Connect is the perfect solution. It's so simple to configure. All you have to do to activate VPL Direct Connect is to modify a couple environment variables and you're on your way. Let's jump over and take a quick look at your ENV file within your Mentor Graphics Valor directory. I'll open it up in a text editor and as you can see, I have my VPL Direct Connect set to yes, along with commenting out my VPL service information. As I mentioned, with VPL services, you will have access to over 35 million manufacturing parts from the Mentor Valor Part Library. All VPL parts have been created utilizing ISO 9001 process and are in 2.5D format with pin contact information. The use of this great capability brings the ability to do virtual prototype builds, which is the only way to assure quality solder joints and to identify issues that cannot be found using your typical CAD libraries. Solderability analysis can only be assessed by using Valor NPI with the Valor Parts Library. EDA libraries do not contain the pin contact area, so without VPL, you have no means of measuring heel, toe, and sides to verify sufficient surface for soldering. But with VPL and the Valor NPI, you can do exactly that. You can identify issues that cannot be found using CAD libraries. Once the VPL parts have been imported into Valor NPI, you can analyze the design for solderability. Pen to pad mismatches can easily be detected and could cause concerns for manufacturability. With the overlay of VPL parts onto your eCAD footprint, you have the ability to measure the heel, toe, and sides for sufficient surface for soldering. Another very important part of Valor Parts Library capability is the ability to analyze alternate parts. So as you import your bomb into the Valor NPI with the alternate parts included, the system basically lays each of the parts, including the alternate parts, over its respective footprint for analysis. This assures no matter which qualified parts are actually sourced, there will be no manufacturing issues. As you can see in this example, component A violates the toe spacing while component B has no issues. And component C has side spacing concern. Hopefully you see the great value a tool like Valor Parts Library brings to your design for manufacturability initiative and Direct Connect enabled simply makes it easier and cheaper to accomplish the task. Let's jump over to Valor NPI so I can give you a quick demonstration of how this works. We're going to open up the bomb manager and open up a bomb that I previously imported in. Now if we look at the lower right corner, 
you'll see that we are connected to the VPL. And if we take a quick look at the bottom, you can see I have three alternate parts for U9. So let's go ahead and merge the imported bomb into the design using assembly merge. This first stage links the component information by its reference designator from the bomb into the design itself. And the second stage here retrieves the package geometry data from the VPL database and lays the VPL parts over the EDA footprints. And if you watch the display here, as I merge these packages in, you'll see that the parts change from the EDA footprints that came over from the EDA system to the VPL parts themselves. And then this last stage basically checks to make sure the EDA data and the VPL pins match up appropriately. Now we'll take a closer look at U9. And as I turn on the top layer so you can see how the pin contact information from the VPL part actually makes contact with the pads of the footprint. Let me go ahead and turn on the manufacturer part number so we can toggle through the three alternate parts that was merged into this bomb for U9. Now as I select the part and I toggle through each alternate part, you can see that the pin information is a little different for each manufacturer. And now I want to go ahead and jump over to the manufacturing risk assessment GUI so we can review some of these previously performed analyses when we select the solder tab here so we can see the solder issues and scroll down to the pin pad analysis section, I'll go ahead and select the right distance minimum results. And as you can see that I'm looking for a 1.57 mil minimum and I only have a 0.579. So this has resulted in a violation. And we can jump over and take a look at a left distance minimum example. And lastly, we'll go ahead and select the heel distance minimum where we can see underneath this chip device that we had a violation where the chip contact area extends over top of the pad area. So with that, I'd like to conclude this short demo on Valor Parts Library Direct Connect Enabled Capability. I hope you found it of interest and thank you for your time.